Now you may have heard of builders adding some key codes to a cement mix or painting it onto a wall before plastering or tiling. But when do you use it and why? Well, key codes is manufactured by a few different companies and has slight variations on the name. However, the words key coats are key. Key coats is a water-based acrylic latex liquid cement additive designed to increase water resistance, flexible and adhesion strengths of cement-based partners like tile adhesives, screeds and cement-based plasters. It provides a strong adhesive bond to smooth surfaces such as masonry, block and pre-painted walls. Have a look at this wall. Damp has made the plaster powdery and you can see the dark moist areas within the plaster. I mean, look at how easily this paint literally flakes off and I wasn't even scraping aggressively. This wall needs to be chipped clean and painted with the key coat allowed to dry before replastering. Just paint it on using a block brush and ensure that you've worked it into all the cracks and corners. Key coats is usually used to almost prime a wall before plastering or tiling. This is especially important when there are damp issues. However, it's not a fail-safe method of repairing damp. Damp within walls needs to be remedied. However, by painting key coat on before plastering, you are applying a layer that can help with damp problems. Now being water-based, cleaning is easy. Simply wash the brushes with water. Key coat can and should in this case also be applied to the plaster mix when mixing. And as a guideline, two liters should be added to five kilograms of plaster mix. There are also other mixing quantities depending on the work at hand, all of which are printed on this label. However, these should be taken as a guideline. Key coats can also be added to cement whenever a high amount of water may be around, such as Pendila's bee bath that she made. This bee bath is designed to hold water and live outdoors, or to the concrete drainage gullies that are recently built. Here, we want the water to run off and not seep into the cement as we don't want any more damp issues. I also built an outdoor concrete countertop and added key coats as well as a sealant, doing what I can to prevent water ingress. I want this to keep its original cement look. All of these builds are outdoors and in the elements, and they're exposed to large amounts of water. Adding key coat to the mix is going to help prevent long-term water saturation. There are links in the description below for all those videos. Key coat is an important ingredient in your cement work and is often overlooked but adding this additive to your work is one step along the road of better preparation. For more videos like this, check out the blog and the website. Get to builders, get it done.